All right. Hey everybody, this is uh, Jason Patrick from uh, at middle of nowhere gaming dot com. Today I'm going to be playing White Knight. I'm actually I actually signed up to review the title, so I'm only going to stream it for about an hour to give you guys a little taste of how it is. I'm not going to speak much because I don't want to try to I don't want to detract from my experience of playing it. Uh, I hope to have the review for you guys early next week. Is the plan? I did start the game yesterday, but I only played it for 10 or 15 minutes or so. So you didn't miss much. Uh, it's set in 1930s. Uh, you play as this guy, I don't know his name yet. It's trying to give a whole... It has like a whole noir vibe, kind of like Sin City. And a, a visual aesthetic, which is the same as those, as those movies or comic books or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, you just play as this guy. It's the Great Depression kind of just started. He's coming home from drinking, supposedly, uh, and he 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 almost runs into this. Well, he he's not sure if he kills or hits the person, but it's like a ghostly apparition. Then he comes upon this house, and that's pretty much it. So I'm pretty much gonna pick up where he actually gets into the house. So, like I said, not much has happened. I don't really know what's going on yet. So let's do this. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I changed the input on the TV. Let's get back to that. Let's raise up this volume a bit. So, they just added the match element, which involves finding, getting matches, but obviously they run out eventually, so. waiting behind it. August 21st, 1911. That's kind of weird how they did it. 2021? 20, Suffocated in its useless simulations and frills. The mansion doesn't have the greatest, but befitting a fortune like the Vespers. It's a work of a des degenerate romantic. It's like a state in the century. I ordered the flower beds on the east side of the garden to be removed. They made moving around complicated, and in summer, their scent was unbearable. I didn't talk about it to Henry, and he was quite upset. For the first time, I think I saw something like rage in his eyes. For a few seconds, he did look like a man, and then he shut himself back in his melancholy and played the piano all afternoon. His jazz again, this stupid music with re reeks of debauchery and misery.
Hey, morning. <laughs> William is seven today. He is with Henry, running after the servants in the garden, dressed up like monsters from space. Games. Always games. The mansion is all upside down, and her yells gave me an awful headache. I'm now cloistered in the office, unable to even pray. Henry's fantasies keep William away from his great destiny. I have to bring him back to me, as this will be my only chance to make a man out of him. To make him embrace the Venter Cross legacy. To show him the way. Henry is a dreamer, and he has no ambition whatsoever. He can't teach him anything. Behind every great man there is a great woman. Nonsense. Women should be on the front line. This is where the opposite brought us. I have no illusion about how little power the world is leaving in the hands of women. But William is young. He has a future. I will act through him. And may night finally fall upon this house. May William stop running after deceiving lights to find the place he deserves in this world. I fucking hate like the dialogue, the things that you read. Like, I mean, it's it's his inner monologue, I guess, but I really don't like it. The time came and we stopped counting. We stopped counting how many companies closed in the past nine years, how many unemployed and families ended up in the streets forced to live in slums around our cities. We stopped counting all the commodities wasted because nobody could buy them, thrown to the sea or burnt. We stopped counting how many of our business partners fell with us. It was nine years ago, on October 29, 1929. Born from the sick and speculative belly of America, the crash would throw the world into the storm and darkness. We are still here, but we lost faith. And we stopped counting, because they were, these were just figures, because today they made us feel nauseous. Dawn seemed far at the time, and today some think, think, some think they can see the sunrise. They seem to forget night and darkness are always out there, somewhere. Where I walked in. <laughs> so like I said, he got into a car accident. That's why he's kind of like stumbling around because I guess he injured himself. So science books.
I really hope he uh heals heals soon. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I've tried opening that. There's got to be something in here. Wants a light switch. <laughs> so like the you missed uh in in the first part of the game there'll be parts where it'll be like oh you, you could you could they would they pretty much infuse dialogue with a tutorial on how to, how to control the game and it, it's it doesn't work it's super cheesy I don't seem to get what the button is to put this light out dude you're wasting you're wasting. Circle. Oh, there we go. Well, I guess I can't see over here. Whoa, that's a cool shot. That's a pretty cool shot. Maybe I should save. Let me go sit down real fast. Really a floppy disk? This game is all over the place. Hi, babe. Are you there? Well, that's cool. I can run, yes! Yes, I can run! Super cool. either. I had to be more badly wounded than I thought. Well, who did that? An appointment with destiny. Hi. For too many of us, the political equality we once had won was meaningless in the face of economic inequality. A small group had concentrated into their own hands and almost complete control over other people's property, other people's money, other people's labor, other people's lives. For too many of us, life was no longer free, liberty no longer real. Men can no longer follow the pursuit of happiness. Against economic tyranny such as this, the American citizens could appeal only to the organized power of government. The collapse of 1929 showed up the, showed up the despotism for what it was. The election of 1932 was the people's mandate to end it. Under that mandate, it has been ended.
far? This thing looked like it was Bad. reaching out from some fairy tale. The kind of stories in which kids get devoured by some witch in a dark forest. Was it real? Delusion or not, I tried not to think about it. Only a madman can think mad things. Second, I want to display the comments. Looks like somebody's saying something. Hey, what's going on, Dunkel? Thanks for watching. This is White Knight, a game from Awesome Studios. Activision published it, just came out last week. If you're wondering what this is. <laughs> decided to accept her presence. After all, from all those weird things I had seen that night, she was the only one who hadn't tried to kill me. Actually, she didn't even seem to see me. She was waiting for something. What? William Vesper's diary, excerpt number 10. I watched from behind the vapors of my whiskey. Drunk men and women who bark at each other like animals. They grab and bite each other in a preposterous parade that seems to arouse them. I am outraged, and yet I am jealous of their foolishness. Their ability to just forget everything in this game. Then there's the lovers, leaning and whispering to each other amidst that chaos confident that their words could end their way to the mind of their significant other. I dream of being in this place, in his place, drinking in her words. What could she say to me? What would I answer? Would I tell her that I love her? Maybe I wouldn't say a word. Maybe I would hit her. I could be her son. I could be the son of all women. Interesting. What do you mean, what happened, Uncle... Uncle Bry, BR. I'm just gonna go the other way right now. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, man. 
Oh my god. What's going on? Pretty freaked out right now. Well, I guess they don't want me to go that way. So what do I do? Do I go anyway? going on, Lou? Uh, it's, it's, it's okay so far. It's getting pretty scary right now. Uh, but I don't know. It's all right. I, I like the setting. I like the period that it's set in, but some of the dialogue from the main character is a little off, something off about it, but it's still pretty early, so...
Yeah, I'm not sure if you saw the part that just happened. Uh, but let me show you. It's kind of creepy if you want to stick around for a second. Yeah, it's a gorgeous game. I don't know what to do there. Seems like that's the only way I'm supposed to go and it's not happening. Yeah, I I do like kind of like the old school aesthetic like Resident Evil where you have, you know, like these fixed camera angles. Like, I've always liked that. I don't think I can punch. <laughs> I don't see why I can't burn it. I'm, I'm guessing I'm just going to go die, but let me see what happens if I... If I try to run past her. <laughs> that didn't go well. I don't know, I ran into the ghost and that was I that. I had to be more badly wounded than I thought. Who's this Nightbot guy? I'm kidding, I know who he is. <laughs> like, what? I, I didn't know if it displayed those messages on PlayStation as well. That's funny. So I, I have heard this game has like a... I try not to read too much about it, but I did read part of a IGN's review today. And supposedly there's a lot of permadeath, which is kind of frustrating, which I'm worried about. And there's a, some of the checkpoints is jacked. Like the checkpoint system. There's a lot of replaying sections if you die. So Hopefully that's not the case. Uh... Like <laughs> thinking of uh, permadeath, it reminds me of Evil Within, which I enjoyed Evil Within, but I could look around using left stick and I was free to act. See, like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like a ham fisted uh, tutorial. So is is Nightbot uh is something that you kind of turn on or does he just do his thing automatically? I don't know why I'm considering him a a he, but uh, yeah. I decided to accept her presence. After all. From all those weird things I had seen then. She was the only one who hadn't tried to kill me. 
Th that part thing looked like it was fucking creepy as shit. Fairy tale. The kind of stories in which kids get devoured by some witch in a dark forest. Was it real? Delusion or not? I tried not to think about it. Only a madman can think mad things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go save, just so hopefully that means I don't have to keep doing this part over again. You know, what I just did. Good. All right, at least I know I need a key now, so that's good. You know, guys, I'm gonna let you see my face. <laughs> Might as well, instead of staring at Solid Snake. Solid's a lot cooler than me, that's for sure. I don't know. Well, there's the light. 
Does that mean I can sit down? Nice. <laughs> He found a chair. Great success. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Say how you beat the ghost? I don't know. I'm not sure if you're asking me. Or but I don't know. A log. I could start if I wanted to start a fire. Okay. this oh I see so that's how you put the match out fire could be an ally but I needed to find some wood I needed more wood to get the fire really hey hey don't don't ruin the game for me guy Come on now. Be nice. I'm trying to figure this out on my own. I appreciate it though. I really do. But yeah, I'm trying to figure it out, man. Juke the ghost. I could juke it. I don't even know where it's at anymore. I don't even know how I got in this room, like.
note to self, kitchen key, my dear friend, for the lack of sleep erodes your sanity as well as your memory. I hereby decide to put the kitchen key in this book of recipes father loves so much. It is in the library and won't move from there, which will prevent you from having to make extra keys again. Please start by trying not to lose this note. Your devoted servant. Yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's awesome. This is what the night looked like. Limited perspective is as closed as this door. I got there. <laughs> well, it's in the library, but the library door is locked. Oh, man. save again. Probably a good idea. Like, it looked broken and dangerous. <laughs> this is what the night looked like. Limited perspective is as closed as this door. You think the warm fire caused the ghost to go away? Let's go see. I don't know. Yeah, is that it? You went away, right, ghost? Nope. You're still there. Can I really juke this ghost? Or are you guys being jerks? What the fuck, man? Not cool. What the fuck? It is self that strives in the dark like flies on manure. As long as I'm alive, they will never go away. That's great. Uh. 
This is a pretty game, man. Fuck, man. I totally forgot what room I was in. <laughs> like, why is she following me? <laughs> oh, that was scary. Man, yeah, that's creepy. I'm leaving this house. Alright guys, give me one second. I gotta use the restroom. I'll be right back. I really want to pick my nose, but you guys are watching. That means she went away? Ah, she's still there. Oh my god. Leave me alone, lady. I 
found your photo. You can go away now. Okay? No? Okay. I agree, procrastin procrastinator. It's uh it's pretty striking art style. I like it. Alright, I found your shoe. Now you can go away. Nope. <laughs> so it looks like I'm gonna run out of the matches. Which is not good. I really don't know what to do, guys. Dummy. So. and no way to know what was waiting behind it. 
I'm trying to recall if I saw a, uh, oh yeah I did, it's in here, there it is. jazz record, Selena Sandvik. The key she left me was an invitation. Was she trying to help me? Or was I heading towards even more troubles? I had to focus. Surviving is a full-time job. Not the kind of job you can afford to lose. She left me a key. So it looks like whenever I'm about to run out of matches, they kind of like appear somewhere, which is nice. Because obviously you can't get through the game without them, so. Or is that the key to this box? Back here. Let's see. Nope. Must be the library key. Itself, the shadows and the electric light. Today, one of Mother's shadows caught me as I was walking inside the library. That same day, I had someone fix electrical wiring, which had been out of service for years. In panic, I switched on the light. The shadow vanished in a scream. Electric light kills them. Yes!
pursuing me. What the fuck? Her voice is harassing me, blaming me, and insulting me because that was not the air she wanted so much. Margaret is even more harmful and deaf, and because I am her son, she has always possessed the keys to my mind. I am desperate. How am I supposed to keep a dead person at bay? save. that Yeah, man, I'm, I'm pretty scared right now. <laughs> and I'm stuck here because I don't have any matches. Great. Maybe if I turn the light off. And wait for it to get me.
All right, man. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Without light, I couldn't do anything. But essentially. Come on, man. Help me out, game. dark anymore. Selena. It was her. You're a pal. A girl from the jazz record. Selena Sandvik. The key she left me was an invitation. Was she trying to help me? Or was I heading towards even more troubles? I had to focus. Surviving is a full-time job. Not the kind of job you can afford to lose. Save so I don't have to see that again. What time is it? How long have I been streaming? Uh, still pretty early. Go for a little bit more.
I'm gonna go look at use that key. Plus, I just really wanted to leave that room. be frustrating with the deaths, the instant deaths. I can, I, I don't like playing games where I'm like constantly have to be on edge. I mean, I like horror games, but they're not necessarily fun, you know, they're just an experience. So, but yeah, thanks for watching. As you can see at the bottom here, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at of, of Mixed Descent. I'm an associate writer at middleofnowheregaming.com. You can follow us on Twitter at mong.com, completely spelled out. Uh, we also, you know, like have a Facebook. You could uh, check out our Twitch here at twitch.tv slash mongplays. We also have a YouTube, youtube.com slash mongnetwork, and also youtube.com slash mongplays. So if you want to check us out, feel free. Uh, had quite a few people join me tonight. So thanks for watching.